work last night, I'm Delicious. on the way to work fresh and clean. And it's not that easy, I think, to do like a video every week when you work and you do a 9 to 5 job like me. The way I can keep my energy is to be grounded. Like in spirituality or personal development, we talk a lot about that. And I, to be grounded is not like to stay at, in one place and never move. It's to move, it's to move your body, it's, it's to interact with people. I want to be like a tree, you know? I think this year my roots are not like deep on the floor. So it's basically what I try to do for myself. I have my roots like uh, in, on the floor and for the moment I don't have my apartment. So it's not a boat, I have a place. I think it's really more spiritual is to be happy wherever you are or whoever is around you. Whatever you are doing, you know what I mean? Like it's only you, it depends on you. How you keep your energy, how you, how you take care of yourself as well. How you connect with yourself, like if you take the time sometimes to be like grateful for what you have in your life the way i try to do it is to do like some uh, some workout some exercise like this i can connect my body and my soul i hope i'm not saying too much bullshit but it's true to be grounding like in spirituality is it's not like having no life and don't take any risk to be happy even if you are very uncomfortable in your life wherever whatever you are where you're going you know what I mean? Huh? I'm on the way to work and I see you later. And to finish with this conversation, I think sometimes we overthink what people are thinking about us. And it's happened to me a lot as well because I'm always like worried, oh, what's the other thing, blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, I'm like, people just don't care, you know? Like, who cares? If I see someone talking to his camera, I will be like, oh, maybe this guy have a YouTube channel or, is, or maybe he's talking to his mom on FaceTime or whatever, you know, like people are, are just focused on what they are doing and I don't think like we care that much about and you see I'm like checking if there's nobody uh, listening <laughs> listening to me. In France we have a the French expression is to say ce qui ne te tue pas te rend plus fort and in English basically it means what it doesn't kill you, make you or leave you even stronger at, at the end of the day, you know. I think this little sentence take a big space in my life because I'm always saying, oh, I have nothing to lose. I don't know if you watch uh, the previous vlog I, I did last week, but I was explaining that I have my YouTube channel since four years and I didn't want, I didn't want to help anyone tell me that, oh, Camille, you should do your uh, your YouTube channel in English. I was like, no, I don't want to, to do it again, to start from scratch, build this relationship and blah, blah, blah. And, I, and my sister said to me, but what, what do you have to lose? You have everything to win. I think this is a good example about life, but always ask yourself, like, what do you have to lose? I mean, the most important thing is your family, your health, that's all. If you don't, don't lose that, just, just go for it, you know, go ahead. Voilà. I didn't talk English since almost three years because I used to live in New York. I was okay with my English, you know, like living my life and have a nice, uh, nice job and nice life with my English. But now, since I didn't practice, I need to really, really to like to push. The, in France, in France, we say uh, the French expression is to say to to donner un coup de pied dans le cul, mais it's basically to it's, uh, it's move your ass a lot work hard on it. I was listening the first time I made for this video, I was like, oh my god, putain, Camille, your English is so bad, blah, blah, blah. I said, like, oh, you know what? Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it again. Watch more movies in English and, and like maybe in four videos, you will be like, oh, my English is much better. Of course, it's going to be much better. Like, if I stay in my room and shut up, uh, nothing's going to happen, you know? <laughs>
problème, je pensais tomber sur une boulangerie et ramener des croissants à ma collègue. Parce qu'aujourd'hui, je passe toute la journée en administratif, je ne peux pas faire le service. Et bah, tout est fermé. Moi, trois croissants. Trois croissants Oui, s'il vous plaît.